Welcome to the Charlie Bahama Show. I am your boy, Charlie Bahama, out of the Airstream and here in the beautiful Bahamas. As you can, oh, thank you, Wigglesworth. Kevin. Ah, Wigglesworth, thank you so much. I am here in the beautiful Bahamas, and today on the show, we have a really good show for you. I have a lot of guests, so I don't want to talk too long. All the guys from Gippy's Kingdom, okay? It's the very first soap opera that was on Bahamian TV, so we're going to talk to them about the season coming up, and also the nemesis, because there's a nemesis in there, so we're gonna have some conflict, maybe a fight. Hmm. Nah, I ain't no fighting on the Charlie Bahama Show. So come on back, Charlie Bahama Show, with Gippy's Kingdom. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and we are here with Chikozi. Drummer. And no, I, I listen. That, that name. I mean, if, if people don't know you, they be like, oh, do, what, what, what? so let people know exactly. I know I got the first one now, right? How do you pronounce your name? Ijoma, Jacozi Ijoma. All right. Well, we'll talk about where that name came from uh, after. But this is the lead. This is Gippy from Gippy's Kingdom. So it's your kingdom. We're, we're just, you know, we're just a nut in your kingdom. You know. Man, you see that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just so happy you let me into the kingdom. Uh, but for people out there, you know, especially fans of Gippy's Kingdom, tell how this series came about. Like, who, who, who brought this, you know, into fruition? Well, this has been the brainchild of uh, Dr. Ian Strawn and uh, Travon Patton. They um, collaborated, collaborated on this, um, this series. And um, I was honored when he approached me and said, you know, Cozy, you would be perfect for this TV series I want to do. And uh, he just painted a, a broad picture for me. And I said, man, listen, whatever, I'm in it. Because I've uh, been in a few of his productions. Uh, he's done a number, he's written a number of beautiful plays. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, um, Dr. Strawn is an yeah. amazing writer. Indeed. And um, I was just humbled uh, that he, he approached me and sought me to take, take the role. And the show is about... First of all, it's the first Bahamian soap opera. Yeah. That's the first thing. Televised soap opera. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, it looks realistically at Bahamian issues. All right? So we have uh, real life situations, scenarios that we experience on a daily basis. So we have, you know, the national issue with, you know, with, um, we have the foreign nationals who are here. Um, when I say foreign, they're primarily looking at the, the Haitians and uh, how they exist here. You're also looking at um, uh, fidelity, uh, sweethearting. Uh, there's also the crime aspect, um, you know, um, drugs, etc. So, and then all the challenges the young people, the children have, especially in the pre-adolescent and the adolescent and beyond stages. So it just brings a whole, encompasses a whole bunch of local issues that we deal with. So it has a very realistic appeal. Right. Well, th that's very important because not only is it entertaining, but mm -hmm. it, it also attacks some of the social issues that people want to, you know, hear about and learn about. You know, yeah. you could, uh, you know, the, the, the good thing about it is discussion. Yes. You know, when people probably after the after that episode, they'll talk about it, you yes. know. So that, that's really that's really cool. Now, let, let, let's get back to the name Jacozzi now. Where, is that your the name you were born with? Yeah, uh, I was, I was name given to me by my grandmother. Uh, oh. My father was Nigerian, and um, he met my mom in, in London. He was uh, the, first, the first black accountant to work for Price Waterhouse in London. Right. And uh, my mom was over in London as well, training to be a nurse. So they met, he saw that mango skin queen, and he said, boy, I got a hover. That's mm -hmm. it. Now, you know one thing about Bahamian woman. If an ain't named foreign, foreign aka the US, Canada or something like that, they ain't leaving their country. They ain't leaving the Bahamas to go there. Uh. Right? 
So it wasn't no question about her going back to Africa. She was on that run. <laughs> you come. <laughs> You come in the Nassau. You come in Nassau, boy. And uh, so they moved here. Um, but the name means, I was running over the history now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tell me what the name life. means. Yeah, the name means God's gift or blessing from above. And I think uh, my grandmother had a vision. She was a visionary lady because she saw the potential in me. Hallelujah. That I would be a gift, oh, Shabbat. <laughs> and a blessing, oh, mercy, God. Oh, I can ride this car. Oh, 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 oh. Mercy. <laughs> I like it, make you crazy. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it means God's gift of blessing from above. And the last thing, Ijuma means safe journey. So uh, they had a safe trip here. Yeah. That's part of that journey. Yeah. All right? But um, um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's how that connection comes in there, the name, and etc. Wow, very good. Well, you know, that, that's good. That's what I like about this show. We get to, to get more in, into the, who the person behind the character, you know? Now, let's get into... You know, I have a few of the uh, characters on later on in the show, uh, but tell me about your nemesis. Because we, we, I saved him for last, okay? Because I had to put some space between the two of y'all. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, even, so. even in terms of a TV show, I had to put space between the segments. You in the beginning, and him at the end. So tell me about him. What, 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 when, when we meet him, what, what, what we can find? Well, uh, that's Big Joe. That's my friend. We were best friends. We were best friends growing up, and. Um, I think, yeah, in season two, we, we, uh, they had some snapshots or some, uh, what would you call them, throwbacks? Yeah. That showed us as children and our interactions with, with each other. So there was this lady that, hey, this girl I, I had my eye woman. on. Always woman. My problem was I couldn't talk. I was shy. So I tell Big Joe, Big Joe, I say, Joe, man, I like her. You know, he say, what you want me to talk to her for you? Joe started talking to the girl for me. Next thing I know, he's talking to the girl for himself. And they end up being married. He, mar he ended up marrying her. Um, you can't he, be too mad at that man. At least he get married. Hell yeah, <laughs> you know. But that was my girl. That woman, was my girl first. Always women make him men. You understand? Men and then we have we both in the in, in the bus industry. So we both have bus companies. Oh yeah. So we competing against yeah, each other there. Yeah. And uh, I just put the, put this in there. Revenge is kind of sweet <laughs> because <laughs> I saw his wife on the road one day and I pick her up. Uh -oh. I can tell you what happened afterwards. Uh oh, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all gotta watch Gippy's Kingdom, okay? Because th this show, not only the social issues, but it's hot. Okay? Oh, for sure. It hot. Oh, for well, sure. Well, listen, man, Chikozi, it's so good to have you on the show, and uh, and and we we can have safe journeys too yes. throughout this. And and you know, you can see here, you know, it's Corona time still, so we we're social distancing. We're we're doing. I, I did my whole show outside when I'm not inside my quarantine airstream. I'm outside in the Bahamas, and we, we keep it safe and like that. So uh, good luck with the series. We'll be watching because it's coming on again. It's going to be hot. Yes, you know, indeed. So it's coming on again. All right? So come on back, Charlie Bahama Show, and we'll see some of the other characters in Gippy's Kingdom. All right? Charlie Bahama Show. Be back soon. Charlie Bahama Show. Charlie Bahama Show. Follow Charlie Bahama on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or go to charliebahama.com. Sucking salt. Sucking salt? Wait. Could be your Hey, hey, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I always I always knew I wanted Chigozi as Gippy. And um, he was gonna have to prove to me that he couldn't do it. So how do you feel getting this apparatus strapped to your box up? Well sir. This is a painstakingly new experience for <laughs> You better, before I don't talk to this, how? Huh? How about you talk to this? I was happy, man. I was happy to have him on board. He's been fantastic. Man, he's always late. He's always late. Late for every single D A M N shoot. Late. 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 Every.
You win? You win? I win? Man, listen, just give me kingdom, you know. <laughs> I don't lose in my kingdom. Oh? You understand? Oh? Man, blow me. Who? Oh. Which area are you in? Huh? Which area are you in? We in. <laughs> but he always makes you laugh as soon as he shows up. And, um, and once he's there, he, he delivers. He just he delivers. I have a son, another son. His name is Edward. Now, he's a little older than you, Rita. He's a little younger than you, Rita. What? Don't, don't overreact, man. And you're already enough. I ain't starting this way. What my life? He has done some fantastic work in this show. I mean, the, the just giving you enough. You know, the facial expression, the, just the instincts that he has. I'm just very, very pleased with him. I'm very pleased with Jackson Petit's performance as Evan. I, I'm very happy with, with, with Mama Tilda. Just some real, some standout acting. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahamas show. And now I am here with another one of the fabulous actors or actresses or you know they, they, they blend it all together now everybody's an actor from Gippy's Kingdom so Shirley is in the house but but is it Shirley or is it oh you're talking to me oh yes yes I forgot to let oh, okay. you know you we're, we're look right you see that camera we're, we're on yeah we're on TV okay. hey how y'all doing out there so so mama Tilda is in the house but also we have Shirley in the house. Voila. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Yeah, so now you get to see the real Mama Tilda in the house. Now, let me ask you a question. Shirley, is any part of Mama Tilda Sh Shirley? Well, the only part of Mama Tilda that would be Shirley would be the soft side. At times, I found myself wanting to cry in actuality. Like when the, um, the mother of my grandchild was murdered. Oh. That hurt. Yeah, I can imagine. That hurt. That hurt. And, and I found myself, put myself, I mean, deep into character. And I had to catch myself and say, this is not reality. This is not real. This is just TV. This is just acting. And I had to compose myself. And as I said, I, I, I did it. Yeah. Wow. So you've been on the show from the beginning. H how many years has your character been on the show? Well, since 2012. 2012. 2012, that was the birth of Gippy's Kingdom. So I was from 2012 until today's date. Wow. It, 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 it's amazing because it, it seems like, uh, like eons and eons and eons ago. Like 2012 is, you know... Well, that's, um, anyway, that's, that's a couple <laughs> years ago, and, um, you know, it, 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 it was long, and it paid off, and I appreciated it. I appreciated the experience. I, I appreciated the um, camaraderie, and, you know, well, I just hope that the Bahamas stays in, in tune. Right. Stay in tune with the Charlie Show, as well as stay in tune to see the next episode. We have juicy scenes, we have sad scenes, we have scenes that I can't say. But just stay tuned, stay in touch, and keep your eyes on Charlie's show. All right. And then, Gippy's Kingdom, all right? Coming back soon on our TV. We'll be right back, right after this. The Charlie Bahama Show. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and I am here with another character from Gippy's Kingdom, Tony in the house. Now tell everybody your, your character name. Well, my name is, uh, my character's name is Keith, Keith Brooks. Uh, he's an attorney. As you guys watch the show, you get to see uh, just how slimy this guy really is. So as the show progresses, um, Keith Brooks starts off as just a regular lawyer, and as the show progresses, we get to see just how slimy and underhanded his dealings are with his clients. So. It was a challenge for me. It was quite a challenge getting into that character. But, uh, wow. I, I really completely enjoyed it. Did you base it on any, 
any uh, anybody you know or any lawyers out there? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, I kind of did. You know, because you know we got always have politicians and lawyers on TV every night, so it was easy to base that character off of that. <laughs> hey, who to choose from? <laughs> yeah, so many. So, yeah, it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of work though. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, well, we won't, we won't name any names or who we think. I, I think most people out there know some of the sleazy lawyers, but um, now you've. Uh, just like almost everybody on the show today that we've been uh, highlighting, you've been on from the beginning, from the inception. 2012, that's correct. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. pretty, that's a, a good run for a Bahamian TV show, um, you know, because it's very difficult to do television in the Bahamas, very. Uh, you know, with the budgets and everything. Mm -hmm. So um, what, 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 what have you loved so much about uh, the whole, the series? I just love working with new people. I love meeting new people, love traveling and uh, just putting together an idea from a script to the real life, you know, on camera, it's, it's always been a joy of mine. Yeah. And that's what we succeeded in doing with Gibby's Kingdom. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Now, what about, um, in, in terms of acting, what, what was your, you, you had any formal training or? I No, I was never fortunate, fortunate. My, my parents never had any funds to send me off to school. So I was working from, I was in high school towards it, saving, I was supposed to move off to New York, but that, that never um, came to light. So. Just been here basically just picking up the trade, attending uh, learning uh, acting classes whenever there's an acting class. So yeah, so that yeah. is formal training, yeah. your acting class. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. 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 So, um, well, you know, growing up, who were some of the actors, that, you know, that you used to... Uh, Tom Cruise, Will Smith, Al Pacino, there's so many different actors. Oh, wow. You know, so many different people that inspired me. Did you, did you ever get to go out to the Dundas much? Yeah, I, I performed at the Dundas several times, yeah. About three, two or three times I performed at the Dundas, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's a great institution, and yeah. I, I, I hope more people can get out, especially after, you know, Corona is over, we can get back into the theater mm -hmm. and everything. So, I know you can't give too much away, but is there any, anything you could tell us about what's going to be happening coming up soon? Because that, that's the thing people want to know. Scandalous. One word for it to be scandalous. 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 Scandal after scandal. You all need to get a, a theme song. Scandalous. Yeah. Give his kingdom. <laughs> scandalous. You know? Wow. Well, listen, man, it, it's so good to have you guys on the show and, uh, you know, it's good to be here. Thank you. Much success. And, you know, everybody out there, just look out because the new season of Gippy's Kingdom is coming soon on our TV. All right. Be back with more Charlie Bahama show right after this. Thanks, man. Thank you. The Charlie Bahama show will be right back. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and we're ending up here with the nemesis. <laughs> the nemesis, the Gippy. Yeah. And, and they call you Big Joe. Big Joe. But let everybody know your real name. Yeah, my name, real name is Neil Clare. So, Neil. Hey. Did they pick the right nemesis? I mean, like, are, are, you, are you, like, really uh, a tough guy in, in real life? Or, <laughs> or, you know, they always say the gentle giants. Well, um... For me, I, I, I can pretend. I, I can pretend really well. You know, the character is a little, little different from how I am, but um, I'm playing his nemesis, the, the, the character for um, Gippy. Yeah. But in, in real life, you know, we, we kind of tight. So, You're tight? Yeah. It's a real stretch playing now that, you know, I don't like you, dude. <laughs> well, they, they, maybe he need to borrow some money and don't pay you back so he get you, give you a little incentive not to like him again. Uh, all right, all right. We could, <laughs> we, could, we could try that. We could try that. So. From the beginning of the season, be, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the series, yeah. which is like, what, eight years or so you all been doing it, or nine? Or? A little longer. I actually came in on season two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So how, how, is it, how has it changed? I mean, are you one-upping him, or is he one-upping you? Like, who's, who's winning? <laughs> um, I think so far, um, I have the winning hand. I have the winning hand. He has some plans that, that you know, they're going to put him back. But um, <laughs> we're always confrontational, and, and I like to think I'm ahead, even if I'm not ahead. So right. I can't say he's winning. No, that, that just wouldn't sit well. No. Well, that, that makes for good TV, man. That's why this thing has been successful. You know, yeah. you have to have that, you know, the protagonist. You have to have that conflict in there. Yeah. You know, that, the soap opera. That's what it's about, you know, Bahamian soap opera. Yeah. Um, wow, man. So what about your, your acting, you know, career? Uh, before this, was this like some of the first that you've done, or you have done stuff from way back at Dundas and? Yeah, I've and been that. on I've been on stage for pretty much um, well over 25 years. Um, I've had a couple stints um, in in small movies, little cameos here yeah. and there. So the stage for me is comfortable. Um, 
for the move for the television series, this was this was different because um, unlike everything else, you don't get to run lines with your partners and uh, the persons you play against. You just show up and, and, and shoot. Oh, so, so there's that, not much rehearsal. It's more improv. Yeah, not so much improv. You study your lines, right? But not until you get right. to the set. Do right. you actually run it with some with the actual person you're running it with? Right. So you know that's different from you know stage stage. Yeah, of course. You rehearse, you rehearse, yeah. you rehearse. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Even with TV, like you know, uh, in, in the states or whatever, yeah. they rehearse. They'll do rehearsals. But actually, I think it might be good not rehearsing with your your nemesis. You know what I mean? Because yeah. then you could really, you know, get into it and be surprised yeah. or anything like yeah. that. So wow. So yeah, man, we're looking forward to the new. The new season oh, yeah. coming up, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sure people are there on the edge of the seat waiting to, to see With what Big snacks. Joe uh, it could do to Gippy. <laughs> His kingdom. So, hey, may maybe maybe after this season, the next season will be called Big Joe's Kingdom. There you go. There you go. All right. Definitely. <laughs> I like that. I like uh, that. You like that, eh? Hey? Producers are listening. See, see that? Ah. The genius button never goes off. Good man. Hey, you, you <laughs> need me. Hey, look here. We, we, I'll wake with you on this, you know? We, we'll get... Oh. Gippy's Kingdom will have our own, you know, our own show, like, you know, Joke. go off on the side. Remember, like, but all in the family, you know, that's where the Jeffersons came off, yeah. off of that. Yeah. So, Big Joe's Kingdom on the Charlie Bahama show. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back after this, right. these messages. Charlie Bahama show. Charlie Bahama show. Follow Charlie Bahama on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or go to charliebahama.com. They say it's better in the Bahamas. But did they ever say why? So, how was your date? Do you understand or do you know how much a baby costs? I didn't want to buy this big property in, in, in the first beginnings. You like sucking salt, eh? Sucking what? Salt! But married people refuse to put their spouses oh, first. <laughs> so what? You never loved me? Yes! No! He wrote lawyer extraordinaire. This is my boy. We've been friends from since grade seven. I can handle my business. Okay. Yeah. I can handle my business. I just think Listen, justice is blind, all right? I have to defend the people that come to me looking for advice, regardless of what I think of them, all right? Try to wrap your small mind around that, okay? But yeah, the next time you raise a voice at me, I can knock up a deal with your mouth. Give these kids. Because it's better in the Bahamas. Well, that was another fabulous Charlie Bahama show. And man, the guys from Gippy's Kingdom is really funny. It's good to see them in and out of character. So you got to meet them as their real person. All right, so stay tuned for that series and all the other shows coming on uh, our TV, as well as, you know, the Charlie Bahama show. And if you want to check us out when we're not on, just go to all our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Charlie Bahama. All right, so until next week, wear your mask social distance, wash your hands, and stay safe. All right? Take care.